we gather quite early on because um, apart from anything else, um, Downton Abbey is an expensive place to run and they're always looking for um, some kind of means of income. And uh, an offer is put to them that uh, it, they become a, Downton becomes a location for a British movie, a British silent film. And um, Lady Mary is uh, persuaded uh, when uh, the money that's on offer is, uh, is proffered to her. So she's very willing to, to, to take part in that. Um, at the same time, uh, the Dowager Countess uh, Lady Violet lets it be known that she has come into a bit of property. Um, but the surprising news is that she's come into a bit of property in the south of France and that it has something to do with a past relationship, I, 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 I would say, with, with, um, with a young Frenchman at the time. Miss Baxter joined the household um, a, a few years earlier and uh, as, a, um, as a lady's maid to, to Lady Cora. And he spotted in her some troubled past and wanted to help her. And she likewise has kind of spotted something in him that she found curious. Um, and they kind of slowly, very slowly uh, formed a, a bond. And I think they both hope for something more, but because they've both, I suppose, been either hurt or rejected in the past, they're very tentative in, in moving forwards. And so um, perhaps to some Downton's fans' exasperation, their, their, uh, their progress towards sort of a fulfilling that relationship uh, has proved um, frustratingly slow. Uh, that's not to say that fulfillment isn't on the horizon, but, uh, well, you'll have to wait and see. Miss Baxter is played by a wonderful actress called Raquel Cassidy, um, somebody who I'd wanted to work with for many years. Uh, I've been an admirer of her work for, for, for a long time. Um, and it was a joy uh, working with her. Um, we kind of clicked straight away. We had Julian wrote some beautiful scenes for us where he was exploring the, the hurt uh, in both their pasts. And um, it, 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 was, it was lovely sort of being able to sort of uh, talk with her and um, and the producers and, and Julian obviously and sort of uh, and how we're going to explore the, the further and burgeoning relationship. Working on Downton has been and is a kind of a, a unique experience for all of us. Um, not only because of the success of the show, uh, which was kind of revelatory really, um, but also it's very rare that British actors get to work together for so long. And so whenever we do come back together, you know, especially if it's been two or three years since we last met, it's kind of, uh, there's a kind of a celebration in the air. And um, I don't want to understate that actually. I mean, it really is a celebration. And, um, and so any time that uh, there's a moment in the script where it looks as if a lot of us are going to be together, then uh, it's kind of, it, those moments are really embraced. Um, so it's, it, I mean, it's always about the people that you work with, really. And, uh, and over, the, over that sort of 10 year period, some very, very strong bonds have been cr created, uh, you know, lifelong friendships. Maggie uh, comes with a lot of, um, comes with a lot of baggage because, uh, well, she, she is, um, she is a legend, um, uh, and it's somebody that I personally have kind of, uh, I never dreamt that I'd work with her. And so when you know that you're going to be working with somebody like her, then it's, uh, you know, you can be a little bit nervous and, you know, nobody will blame you for that. Um, and, and, I, and I was, and, uh, but she's, you know, 
she's an old hoofer. You know, she 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 she's uh, you know she talks often about her sort of song and dance years early on, and uh, and uh, you know she's a dame in many ways, um, but she's a, just a, an absolute joy, a joy. Whenever Julian writes these scripts, he always puts in something new that you learn about your character when you read it. For instance, in the previous film, I, I learned that uh, he was an ardent royalist, uh, which I hadn't, you know, uh, I hadn't realized before. And uh, so you have to embrace that. You have to come at that with a lot of enthusiasm. And likewise, in this film, uh, you, you learn that he lives for the movies. Any spare time that he has, he will be off to the cinema, and um, it's been used as a, as a as an excuse to take uh, Miss Baxter on, on one or two occasions. And uh, so he he loves movies. He he loves that kind of uh, the idea of Hollywood, of sort of escape or um, fantasy, or um, and so. Uh, the, the chance that he gets to sort of watch them being made is just absolutely fascinated by. There was a moment when we were filming one of the scenes uh, which, which appeared towards the end of the film, and uh, Simon Curtis, our director, uh, turned to me and said, um, this, these 10 minutes of Molesley's life are life-changing. So he, w within 10 minutes, he, uh, his life completely changes, and it's um, it was it was a, a gift to, to to be able to play those moments, um, but it, it was just sort of extraordinary. Um, so uh, you know, it is interesting his his path and his um, his relationship with with the people who watch Downton. Uh, uh, because I think he was viewed as a, to begin with, he was viewed as a figure of suspicion. Uh, I, people didn't really get him at the beginning, which was interesting, because uh, he's, you know, he made moves on Anna quite early on, uh, while Bates was away, um, and uh, and so uh, it took people a, a little while to forgive him for that. Uh, and, but slowly, he's kind of crept into the hearts of of, of fans, and I'm. Relieved about that because um, I think he's uh, he's got a big heart. But I've wanted to work with Simon Curtis, our director, f for, for years now. Actually, I, I've um, I've admired his work um, as a theatre director first of all, and then more recently in television and film. I, I just think his body of work has been extraordinary, and so just getting to meet him through Elizabeth, he's married to Elizabeth. Um, so he was uh, he was around on set when we were shooting the TV series, and he would he would sometimes come in and say hello, and uh, so it was a, it was a, a real joy to find out that he was going to be directing this movie. I it didn't occur to me that he, but of course why shouldn't he? Why why wouldn't he? He's there. He knows the world. So uh, of course he should direct it. It made complete sense. Um, but it was, uh, he, oh, he was great. Uh, he, but because he he knows that world, he, there was a kind of a sh there was already a shorthand. Um, he he knew the characters already. Um, uh, so he 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 was just fabulous and so supportive. And uh, we were able to rehearse. And uh, there were, there were important scenes that needed to be rehearsed. And he always sort of um, made sure that we had that rehearsal time. So it was a oh, absolute joy. Couldn't have asked for anything better.